Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another news video. Normally, in the news videos, we have, you know, at least, like, five or more things that I like to share. But here, we actually have, like, three <laughs> at most, like, four. And, like, half of the things can be summarized in, like, 30 seconds for the video. So, I'm not gonna waste any more time, and let's hop straight into news number one. So, news number one. Step Closer released, uh, I think it was two days ago? Yeah, so two days ago, and I got it yesterday. I have not started reading it yet, because, like everyone knows already, I'm so far behind in the books. And the reason why is, I keep telling myself, I'm gonna read the books, then I'm gonna make videos on it, you know, I'm gonna take notes while I read, but at this point, I have not even read Fetch, so I'm a little bit late to the party, so I really... I really gotta read the books, and I, I'm making a promise to myself that I will be fully up up to where everyone is, you know, finish with Step Closer before Bunny Call releases in September, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Step Closer is now officially out. Don't spoil it, because I know a lot of people have been getting the books early, especially this one. It seems like loads of people on the Reddit had it before its release date two days ago, so... There's that. Really quickly too, uh, I literally just saw this as I pressed start recording. Darko published a teaser for his um, Into the Pit song. And let me just say, this teaser looks really, really good. He's been teasing it every now and then, you know, like on Twitch streams, for charity streams, stuff like that. Um, but apparently now it's officially finally coming out. It's been a long time actually. And apparently the animators for it have been really slow, so yeah, I guess it's not really Darko's fault, it's kind of the animator's fault, but it does look pretty good. I'm sure I'm gonna be playing it right now, so you can have a look, but it does look pretty good. He said it's coming out sometime this weekend, so pretty soon we will be doing a reaction to it. Also, quickly, because I don't see many people talking about this, he did release a teaser for his next, next song, uh, which is the To Be Beautiful story from the Into the Pit book, and that too looks great. He teased this on one of his Twitch streams recently, I think it was like maybe a week ago, um, and he's not actually in the song, because, you know, To Be Beautiful has two females in it, so he's not singing. And there has been a little bit of animation done on the project. Um, I believe in one of his Twitch streams, I don't think it was the same one where he showed off the To Be Beautiful song, but he also said that he wanted to try and get one out at least every month. I don't, again, I don't entirely remember which stream that was, so I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show a source here, so just take my word on it. <laughs> Let's see if each book has three stories and there's gonna be about eight. That's a lot of songs. 24 songs? That's insane. All within like one year, because the books have been releasing pretty quick, you know? I think it's it's one every two months, so that's gonna be insane, just how fast he's going to be releasing these songs. Anyways, we were on that for a little bit. Uh, next, I wanna move on to the quest for Help Wanted, because Steel Wolf Studios actually released a teaser trailer for, for the port today, and I haven't seen it yet, so instead of just popping it up on screen as I talk, I'm actually going to do a reaction to it. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be much different from the other, like, 12 million different teasers, teaser trailers for this game, but we're going to see what it's like. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Steel Wall, of course. Lionsgate. Yep. Uh, hello. It looks to be about the same. The new and pizza. Okay, yeah, so graphics are definitely different. I'll say that. I haven't seen this, so... Oh, wow. It still does look pretty... Oh. Uh-oh. So, it is different. Oh, wow. It still looks pretty good. 
Threadbear looks great. Jump scale looks cool. Looks good. For no cords, that's that's pretty good. Let's see, is that it? Oh, that. Eh. Okay. Yeah, seven sixteen. There's your release date. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the quest. You know, uh, it's a cordless wireless VR headset. So obviously, it's not gonna look great. It still looks pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just in some areas, it definitely does look pretty hit or miss with the graphics, but again, that's to be expected. It's the quest. There's no cords. You can take it anywhere. So that releases in exactly one week. Again, July 16th, it said. So finally, the wait is over. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, again, I told you it was going to be quick, is Illumix is finally taking a break. They made a post on all their socials um, talking about FNAF AR July update and a peek into the future, so we're gonna have a look at that. I have read over it, which is how I know that they're taking a break. So the post says, Hello all. Our team here at Illumix continues to work tirelessly to make FNAF AR the best it can be for you all. We wanted to make sure to keep it real by letting you all know all the fun 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 that's in store for the rest of the summer. First off, the current event is drawing to a close next Tuesday, so don't forget to redeem your event gifts and check out Firework Freddy and Liberty Chica, we heard that a certain cupcake situation has been a bit toasty. We are taking this week to catch our breath as we head into the end of July and August, so Liberty Chica is the last skin to round out this event, but wait, that's not all. Someone's on their way. Next week, we're not toying around, a character will be returning to FNAF AR and will be here to stay. Any guesses? As July ends and August kicks off, we'll also be turning up the temperature with some new skins. We hope you'll be able to handle the heat. Rest assured that the end of August will be deeply awesome. A new character will be coming to FNAF AR as well as the first of the major gameplay updates that we're excited to roll out. Keep cool all! It's really all of your encouragement and love that keeps us motivated to build this game even with the significant challenges of COVID, and we're always delighted to read your messages, they certainly make us smile on the regular. So the most important thing, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that this post has been edited from its original script. You can see it says edited one hour ago, and it was also posted one hour ago. And the thing that they changed, which is just hilarious to me, is the, we heard that a certain cupcake situation has been a bit toasty. That was not the original message, that wasn't the original thing that they wrote. It originally said, we heard that Carl's situation has been a bit toasty. So technically, the cupcake has two official names. Mr. Cupcake, which has been on all of the marketing, um, and also Carl, which is a name given by the fans. Um, so that's apparently canon, I guess. That's really funny. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the first thing. So let's take this line by line, you know, ward by ward, and take a, take a deep dive, hopping into the swimming pool, because it's metaphorical, because it's summertime. So they've been walking tirelessly, um, which is very kind of them. They've been walking really, really hard, which is great. And, you know, Illumix, thanks for that. You know, we really do appreciate it. Um, as much as I like to crap on FNAF AR as a game as a whole, you know, the constant characters was was pretty fun. Again, I said this in the videos, but I did really enjoy coming back to the game for all of the new updates. I'm a little disappointed that it's only a one week break. So the 4th of July, America Day, whatever you want to call it, Independence Day, whatever, um, is officially over and I believe it said five days when I checked today? when I got my gift. So Firework Freddy and Liberty Chica are the final skins for this event. So yeah, they're taking this week to catch their breath as they head into the rest of the month and the next month. And then they say that someone new is coming. Actually, sorry, they don't say someone new is coming. They say that they are not toying around and that a character will be returning um, to FNAF AR. And I think we all know what this is. If you guys didn't know, maybe about, geez, a couple months ago, I I'd wanna say. Yeah, it must've been, because it was after the Easter event um, Toy Bonnie broke out of the candy shop that was housing Chocolate Bonnie and Easter Bonnie, um, and it had that phrase, you know, they're not toying around anymore, and it had a 
you know, a faded picture of Toy Bonnie emerging. So Toy Bonnie's coming back uh, next week, which is really exciting as a permanent character, just like they did with Toy Chica. They also say that they are upping the temperature with some new skins. Now, I really, really, really hope that they don't just mean they're gonna make lit balloon boy and just have him on fire for a skin. I would be severely disappointed if that is the case. I know not many people like this game, but to use Fortnite as an example, I believe, actually, I don't know if they're doing it right now, but in the past they have done the um, Fortnite summer event where they release, you know, skins of already, you know, already existing characters, but they, you know, they sum them up. They, they just make it look like they're hanging out at a pool party, you know, with some swimwear. It's cool. Not, not something like sun related or fire related, you know, turning up the heat. I hope they just mean some really special, cool looking summer skins. I'm probably going to put up pictures of what I'm talking about with Fortnite just so I can give you guys some examples because I'm explaining this terribly. A new character will be coming to FNAF AR finally um, at the end of August, which is a little disappointing, but hey, at least we're getting a new character for the first time in five, four, four months, four months, because we got Mangle in March, I think, so it's been a bit. Who that is? Uh, you know, guesses are up in the air. It could be the puppet, you know, finishing off with the final toy animatronic, if you want to classify the puppet as a toy character. Um, they could be talking about the Withers, because, again, those are also FNAF 2 characters. Um, I know there have been lots of other characters that have been mentioned in the files, like Scrap Baby and Blower. Um, it could... Hey, it could be Plush Trap, it could be Lefty, it could be Funtime Freddy, those three characters have been teased in the past. Could be FNAF 3, they might wait on the puppet, they could just skip right to FNAF 3 with maybe if they do some of the Phantom characters and try to implement- I'll be- okay, I'll say, if they add the Phantoms, I would want- I want them to be tied with Remnant, okay? Because Shadow Bonnie just with himself, you gotta add those hall hallucinations, I know. Some people still like to argue whether or not they're actually hallucinations, but uh, who cares. I feel like they're gonna tie the phantoms in with Remnant in some way, or just the Remnant system. You know, not, not the traditional going around shocking, but when you go into the camera mode when no one's at your house and you search for Remnant. I want them to appear in that area. Maybe, maybe they can add like Phantom Remnant? That would probably screw up the timeline and everything we know about Remnant, but that would be awesome. I think the canonicity of FNAF AR was kind of thrown out the window when they introduced 8-Bit Baby the other month. Yeah, I mean, I'm really glad that Illumix is doing well. I'm really glad that they're finally taking a break from everything. Again, I feel like they've been, you know, really deserving of a break <laughs> for a while. They've been working really hard, um, basically ever since the game got released, so yeah. I would personally like a bit more of a break than just one week, but... I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I hope hope they chill out, hope they take things relatively smooth from here on out. Then again, I have a sneaking suspicion based on the, you know, we got new skins coming out with temperature, blah, you know, they're, they're just gonna keep doing skins every week. Again, I enjoy it, it's just, come on, man, give us a break. Bit more than one week. Anyways, I've been talking for a lot longer than I probably should have been. <laughs> I said this video was going to be quick, and I've been recording for nearly 20 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But yeah, that is it for me today, tomorrow, FNAF Clicker Remastered Episode 2 is coming out, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.